guys welcome back to my channel and <laughs> all right so we are back with another reaction video okay if you don't know if you're new here I have an entire series where I react to 4C natural hair videos but we're gonna open it up today because why not it's not every time put into the box of 4C hair we have to open it up there's so much more so you guys have been sending me and DMing me all the videos that you guys want me to react to and I've been in my I've been praying I'm in Korean, so I may not respond, but I am seeing it. So please, if you ever find something on the internet that you want me to react to, slide into my DMs, let me know, and I just may react to it. If you're excited for today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, come on, man. Just it's click it, it's free, and it's red. Come on, man. All right, so today, one of you guys sent me Kat Graham's natural hair beauty routine, and it's on Vogue. So Vogue has like a, a series where they go to celebrities' houses and they just share their like, whether it's skin routine, hair routine, etc. Either way, this beautiful, lovely woman named Kat Graham is showing her natural hair. The thumbnail is very interesting. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna react to it. We're gonna react to her natural hair beauty routine, and let's see what it is. I don't know who Kat Graham is. I mean, she gotta be somebody <laughs> if she's on Vogue. All right, let's get into it. Hey guys, it is me, Kat Graham. I am so excited that you guys are going to be with me on this never before journey. I'm gonna bring you guys into how I actually do my hair, my makeup and skin routine. I'm biracial, so my mom couldn't really do my hair. She just dropped me off at the hair salon and I've been doing getting my hair done by professionals almost every single week since I was like nine years old because my mom just couldn't do it. Wait, 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 wait. Did she just say, I mean, it's completely okay, you know, having a biracial mom and dropping you off at the salon, completely understand. So she's been doing, she's, so she's never done her natural hair before? Like she, she's always had professionals do her hair for her? Wow. I mean, it's like a luxury, but at the same time, it's like, dang, girl. <laughs> Oh, you're not the old daughter's head. So I've learned a lot being on quarantine. I haven't had a team of hairstylists that are trained and can deal with everything. <laughs> All I heard was, you know, <laughs> my never ending glam team is no longer with me during this pandemic. So I have to now figure it out myself. It's fine. That's good. The first thing I want to do is my eyebrow. <laughs> I use Anastasia's a lot. I'll shape them with the with the gel that So it looks like she's gonna be doing her makeup routine, her skincare routine, and then her natural hair. I'm only here for the natural hair. And I'm sure you're only here for the natural hair. So I'm gonna just fast forward to the part where she starts talking about her hair. Is that okay with you? So I'm gonna take out my my four braids. I've been very careful to not use heat on my hair, just I really wanted it to grow. When I first started quarantine, I think my hair was maybe to here, but you know, this is not ever something that I would have to do. I would keep my hair in cornrows and just, you know, throw on a wig because most of the jobs that I had done as an actress, you know, they wanted a certain kind of, of look. Four months now and I haven't straightened my hair so you can see, it's really healthy. You can tell that this is really deep for her. You know, I'm sure as a biracial woman, you know, she has just certain experiences, not knowing or learning how to do her natural hair, but then also kind of towing the line of white and black. I'm sure there's just a lot, you know, I could I could just hear that. There's a lot, There's a. there was a lot in those words. And then she, her being an actress and in the media, and you know how the media is when it comes to a standard of beauty. And I, I think what she's essentially trying to say is like, she's had to look a certain way to, you know, book the jobs that she wants to book. And it's, I'm sure, I don't know, this just sounds deep, like, wow. Hey! an afro pick. I never thought I would even own one. The African. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> when I say it's like real black and white, it's real black and white. Um, okay. Woo, the way she was coming through her hair with that afro pick and that blow dryer is stressing me out, but hey. This is a woman that is just learning about her natural hair, so we we can't even judge. We can't even judge. She's trying her best. Afro texture is not something 
that Hollywood has ever necessarily embraced. So I hope that I one day can play a character wow. that I actually look like. Wait, are we hearing the words that she is saying right now? I hope one day in Hollywood there's a character I can play that I actually look like. Yo, this is actually why I do what I do because that is really sad. That is so sad. I feel for her. Like, this is like, I'm sure like, wow. I can only imagine what she's gone through and just what words she's kind of, I guess, internalized over the years with the work that she does. Wow. Ellis Rachel Lee, who's amazing, who was actually the first person to really put me on this journey of using my own hair. I just love just having a fro. I don't know. Isn't it great? It just completely changed me. Um, I don't know that I would even have shown this to you guys before. And I can do so much with it. I don't really, I don't straighten it, but what I've been loving to do is condition my hair and keep it conditioned. So these are my favorite oils. Um, Manuka oil, you can just get this at like the beauty salon. Argan oil stimulates hair growth. Black rice oil is the bomb. And now for my favorite concoction that I made myself, mustard seed oil and Jamaican black castor oil, extra dark. You only need a little bit over maybe spots that have given you a bit of trouble or are stubborn in terms of growth or whatever. But I do love my fro and um, I'll show you guys what I'm doing to condition it. So there's really two products that I have been living by. This is like my fifth one of this, but originally this was a gift. Right before quarantine, I had a week of press to do. We didn't know what was happening. It was just flights were getting canceled, um, borders were getting closed. And why am I crying over conditioner? This is so stupid. This is what I'm saying. Like, I feel like this is really, really deep for her. Like, this is really deep. And, and hair is deep. And you honestly, you can't take for granted if you have like a sense of identity and you're, 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 you've accepted who you are, your hair, everything, your skin. Some people don't have that luxury, like for real. The other day, like I was talking to someone and I was talking about how like some people don't like their hair texture or their hair curl pattern. And they were like, it was another black woman, you know, dark skin is one. She was like, in 2020? And it's just like, yo, like this is actually like, there are people that are still on this journey, like right in the beginning. So I think it's just important to remember that. And oh, sorry, this is just, this is getting to me, man. But Rachel gave me this and she said, I want you to start to use this on your hair. And I was like, fine, you know, I get a bunch of products all the time. And I, it was almost like she knew I was gonna be on my own. And I've never had to be on my own with my hair. Serious. So anyways, I really love this product because this was the product that helped me figure out that my hair will work with me if I don't give up on it. Wow. So, sorry guys. <laughs> oh, it's okay, it's okay. You have a little community so of black women right here with it's you. super simple. It's like $7.99, you can see. Literally, I take a whole scoop. I love this stuff. This is, I'm never showing this. I just put it all over my hair. And my hair just loves it so much. And it seems like a lot. Watch how quickly my hair drinks it up. Just so she I mean, I know we're heavy handed, but dang. <laughs> Okay, let's continue. <laughs> For Vampire Diaries, I'd worn um, a lace front for many years. So the glue and the wig clips and the pulling and the braids were hard on my hair. I think for like the All Eyes on Me movie, I had done a perm because I had a pixie cut. But then after that, I said, I'm done. I'm so done. I, don't, I just want to have a master fro. So if you see what it's kind of done to my hair, is the curls are much more defined and my hair just like really, really loves it. Her hair drank that product up. That's the thing about the like natural hair and like your hair. 
You know your hair best, okay? Because I was sitting here like, dang, that's mad product. But she knows she's experienced the product with her own hair, and she knows her hair is gonna drink it up. Another product that I love, Briogeo. It's amazing. Black owned, and you can see this. Briogeo is black owned? Hey, yo, I did not know that. Briogeo is black owned? I'm mad at it. Oh, wait, I'm looking at, I'm thinking of, I think I'm thinking of Oribe. Oribe? There's two brands that kind of mimic the same, but I didn't know Briogeo was black owned either. Let me go ahead and get the product again, sorry. This one is my favorite. Just do a little here and get your baby hairs right. One thing about me while I do my baby hairs is that I am obsessed with um, amber, the smell. And this um, is my official smell. It's Serge Luton. Santel Majuscule. I can't pronounce these things. Wait, what was the correlation between baby hairs and smell? What is that? Like, you know, one thing I love about my baby hairs is something about scent and I love to smell like amber. What, what is the correlation, please? <laughs> Hopefully you guys have enjoyed my self-care routine and have learned a little bit more about my journey. I love you guys. Good luck. That was so precious. It was actually really precious. So I actually think this video was really, really important for a very big community, a very big part of the black community, which are biracial biracial kids biracial young women young men and women you know because they do have like they just have a different experience they just have a different experience and that's and that's really why representation is so is so important because there are people or little girls you know young girls teenagers young adults young women that are gonna look at that video and see themselves in her and they're gonna be like oh my wow like you know, she really understands my struggle because I I don't understand that struggle. I can empathize, I can try to put myself in your shoes, but it's not the same thing as like someone actually living that. So shout out to her, you know, I'm happy that she's able to, you know, go on this journey of essentially self-love, you know, self-accepting and learning more about her natural hair. Thank you guys for sending this to me. I, I don't know why I never saw the video. I, where have I been? <laughs> be watching that many YouTube videos funny enough guys so I never saw that video so that was really my first time seeing it and reacting to it and that was really precious it was really beautiful so anywho that's it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed this make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed by now I think you want to like and again if there are any other videos on the internet that you want me to react to slide it to my DMs on Instagram I will see it and I will add it down and I'll you know maybe I'll react to it if you guys want to binge watch any of my other reacting to 4c hair videos you can watch them up here <laughs> and I'll also link it in the description box and yes love you guys and I'll catch y'all in my next one bye guys